Hello and welcome to our very first video. Um, brief introduction, we are van life camper vans up in the northeast of England. Uh, we've been operating for about 12 years, uh, doing full van builds, installing diesel heaters, windows, people's electrics, etc, etc, all the usual stuff. Um, today we're going to be looking at a water heater uh, from Lavena, which are the, the, the Chinese manufacturers of diesel heaters. Um, and they are now also producing a water heater. Uh, I must say we've had this heater here for many many months now um, it's still sealed up, haven't opened it yet. Um, apologies to Lavena and Craig who works for Lavena um, for not getting this video out quicker than it is but here we are now we've been very busy um, with other customers, vans, projects etc etc so let's dive straight into it, open the box and see what we have. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so what I've done is I've just quickly set my mobile phone up on a pair of step ladders um, just to get a better view for yourselves. Uh, this isn't a normal thing, we we'll never do video reviews. As I say, this is the first one. So apologies if the camera angle is odd or the sound isn't very good or the lighting is poor. It's not our thing. We build camper vans, we're not video editing people. So, what do we have here? So this is the heater itself, straight from Lavena, uh, direct to us from China. Uh, we do also fit the Lavena diesel heaters as well, the, the, the air heaters, um, very popular. We've been fitting the Urbis Factor diesel air heaters for many years, and then when Lavena came on the scene, uh, we tested them for a while. Uh, we're quite impressed by, by them, very impressed to be honest. So we've started fitting those alongside Urbis Patcher and the other CDA cheaters as well, the, the, the budget friendly ones. Um, we find the Lavana heaters are excellent, uh, that's a nice bit of hose, uh, excellent value for money. Uh, they are basically very similar to the Urbis Patcher, uh, full warranty from ourselves, etc, etc. Um, but this is the water heater. So. That looks very similar to, actually I've got one here, that looks very similar to a Webasto, which we, this is an old one, it's not new, it's been fitted for a while, um, this was just removed from a customer's van because they weren't using it, but that's a Webasto one that we would normally fit, but now the Lavina is on the scene, we'll be going on with those. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll quickly go through what we have, this looks like a wiring harness, uh, fairly substantial by the looks of it, pop that up there, yep, so we have our various plugs, fuel pump, uh, I'm going to guess that's for a JSM relay or something, a power switch, that's your that nice fuse box there, a little auxiliary fuse box, then let's see if i uh, got the ground, that'll be your life, we'll go and look at that later. Um, decent quality fuel pipe, proper hard, hard line, not like the rubbish you get with the cheap Chinese diesel heaters on eBay etc, which is more like aquarium silicon hose. Uh, this is proper good quality stuff. What do we have here? That is a hmm, JSM really I'm going to guess. What that will do is if you bring a SIM card in, uh, you should be able to send your heater a text message to turn on and possibly off. Uh, we'll find that out. So that's going to be your antenna. Uh, and this, I'm going to presume, yep, that's the same plug that just plugged into the wiring harness there. You must be able to open this up some way and uh, pop a SIM card in. It'll be interesting to see if a UK SIM card works. I've got a few lying around from AE, uh, O2, etc., the UK providers. So we'll try a few of those maybe if I get time. And what's this? Oh, okay, that's it. Looks like a possibly a like a, a pressure sensitive switch, uh, on off switch and a small LED. That's nice, very like surface mount for if you want to put it on the dashboard of the car or build it in somewhere. Um that's pretty cool. Again, we'll look at all this once it's all powered up and running. Uh, again, good quality exhaust, very similar to what comes with the Lavina uh, air heaters. Um, not the not the tin that you get with the cheaper ones. 
Um, some installation hardware, zippy ties, cable ties to make everything pretty. Ah, a nice quality by the looks of it. Looks like it's got a good screen on it. Um, yeah, I guess that's your little LCD controller. That looks interesting. Like you say, they got that powered up and see what it looks like. And a remote as well, off and on. Presumably has no battery. Oh, it does have a battery. Often they don't come with a battery because they're import export laws across in China, etc. They don't like sending batteries. Um, that's this. So we have a, a sticky pad to mount that and also a screw to screw it onto something. Anyway, what else have we got? We have an air intake pipe for the combustion air. Uh, and a stand pipe, drip tube, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this will go into your fuel tank of your vehicle. Uh, put the hole in there, cut it to length, draw the diesel out for the heater, which makes fire inside and hot air comes out. Hot water, sorry, it's come out. Not an air heater, it's a water heater. This is your exhaust, your silencer, decent quality. Don't know if you'll be able to see that there. I'll check the camera. Um, it's actually got proper um, silencer material in there. It's, uh, it's not the usual. Cheapy, cheapy one. There, yeah, that actually feels quite heavy and certainly actually seems better than the stuff that Wabasto send out with their very expensive water heater. I'll probably see air heater at some point again because this looks like a mounting bracket. Um, again, nice. Powder coated, all good. And this is the heater itself and loads of more mounting hardware, which is ideal. Uh, I'm just going to move the camera down a bit so you can see a bit better and I'll see you in a second. Okay, just move the camera there just so you can see. This is very well packaged. Sealed down. Definitely not going to move in transit. Don't have any damages. Uh, let me have, yeah, could possibly do with a sharper knife, I think. I treat myself at some point. Right, we have all the mounting hardware, we have exhaust clamps, lots of nuts, uh, bolts, uh, exhaust, retaining bracket, uh, all the things that you'll probably need for an installation. Nothing worse than having to keep nipping out to the suppliers to get little bits and bobs, everything's there. You want to stop halfway through a job. These will be your water coupling pipes and springy clamps. Uh, we all love a good spring clamp, don't we? Uh, as opposed to a Jubilee clip or hose clamp. But there we go. Um, nice. Feels like good quality plastic. I know plastic's ex expert, but that seems good to me. Uh, fuel pump and rubber mounting bracket. Very similar. In fact, I think it's, it's almost the same. That comes with the, the air diesel heaters from Lavina. Um, have a little mounting bolt there. All good. Uh, this is just going to be a bench test, by the way. It's not going to go into a vehicle. Um, not yet, anyway, but this will be getting tested in my own vehicle. Once I'm happy with it, we will be uh, fitting them for our customers. Just the same as we did with the air heaters. We tested those for a while. Once we were all happy with them here at Van Life, we started promoting them, supplying and fitting them for our customers. Here we have the fuel coupling pipes, basically that goes in the end of the heater or in the end of the uh, diesel tube from your tank uh, and the fuel pipe pushes into that. Plenty of clips to complete the job and in nice quality, ooh, just kick the camera there, sorry, a nice quality uh, fuel filter. The thing that I've never been a fan of, no matter what heater it is, the fuel filter as supplied always seemed to be a bit naff. Um, whether they're normally brittle plastic and they crack and break, pull air in uh, or leak. Um, or they just don't seem up to the job. But this certainly seems far more substantial. I'm probably not holding it from the camera. There we go. This seems far more substantial than any other fuel filter that's been supplied with the heater that I've seen. Um, not sure you can unscrew it and take it apart, but we'll have a closer look at that uh, later on. But yes. Uh, sorry if I'm waffling, uh, rambling on. This isn't my usual thing. 
Uh, and here, put the knife down before I lose a finger, it is the heater itself. Um, very heavy, very substantial, um, very nice. Sorry if the screen keeps wobbling, I do keep knocking the camera, it's basically placed on some step ladders. Um, so yeah, we have the heater itself, uh, you've got your water, your fuel, um, water pump, uh, exhaust, etc, etc. Boom in that one, nice. Uh, decent connections on the top there. Have a quick look around it. Little, little view. Um, it's very good. No markings on it. I thought we'll have an hour to put a nice sticker on there to, to promote their, their wares. But overall, it seems very nice and very similar, if not better, initial build quality um, than the Webasto ones we've been fitting for quite a while. So, what I might do is very quickly open this up and just have a look inside. I'm not going to tear it down completely. I'm sure it's top notch. Um, the lavender air heaters were the same. I pulled one of those apart many times, had it side by side with the Herb Dispatcher. Um, and the, the, for, the, for the money, there's basically no difference. Uh, I'm sure this is good build quality, but I will have a look inside, show people. Um, lots of people like a little quick little look. So I'll go and grab some tools and I'll probably pop the cover off, have a look at the board and a few other bits and bobs. And uh, we'll be back very soon. Okay, move the camera yet again for possibly even a better view. I can't see it myself, so I don't know what it's looking like. So I hope you can see. Um, so yeah, uh, this looks very much like a Webasto. Um, so what I might do is pop the top of that off. Uh, after you pop this off, this will just have if anything like other models, other manufacturers, this will just be the connections for glow plug sensors, etc. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you've got your connection for your water pump, your circulation pump. Uh, that would be fine, I presume, and that's your glow plug. Um, actually, that's almost exactly the same as I think it is exactly the same as a Webasto, actually. Um, so yeah, cool. Actually, I've got one here, haven't I? Let's have a look. Go and grab this. This old thing still works. It's just done a, just dribbled some water on me. Yep, that is the exact same plugs as a Webasto. So that's cool. Uh, so yep, yeah. uh, so your harness basically plugs in there, which is a nice, good quality iron harness. Um, it's over there somewhere, and I will just very quickly I'll try and pop this off. This will basically be the, the, the fan, the end of the fan up in here. Uh, the circulation, anyway. I'm going to break it, although I can fix it. Yeah. Sorry about that if it jumped. Uh, my phone went a bit haywire. Uh, so, yeah, this is the the combustion air fan, if you will. Um, actually, I've just noticed. I don't seem to have. He's not. I don't seem to have an instruction manual for this. Nevertheless, I'm sure Lavenat will be sending them out when they start shipping them properly, which I think is very soon. Um, get that back on in a second. So yeah, uh, glow plug. If you can see, I'm trying to show this. Glow plug in there, quite easy accessible. You just take this top off, just a few screws, and you can get into the glow plug if that needs replacement, which it shouldn't because uh, Lav and I use very good quality glow plugs, which appear to last a very long time. Um, so, yeah, what we have here is because I have no instructions, I will tell you this is your water out, uh, heated water outlet. Um, which would then flow to a hot water tank or heat exchanger or whatever you want. Uh, this is the water coming back in. There's a bung in there to stop any nasties getting in. There's another one in the bottom there. Pop those out. Put your water outlet on that one. Your water returning water on this one, which comes back in, reheated, goes back out there. Uh, that will be your air intake, your combustion air intake. So you would use, well, on this version, said black pipe onto there um, 
with the air filter slash dampener noise killer um, on the end of the black pay. Uh, and this on the bottom is your exhaust outlet, uh, which you would put your pipe on that we found earlier in the box. Uh, onto there, obviously, clamp, um, silencer on the other end, etc. etc. Make sure, obviously, it doesn't touch anything nasty because it does get very hot you don't want to melt the plastic melt a few lines anything underneath your vehicle going on fire um, I will attempt I will attempt to clip this back on like so uh, so yeah that's that that's that and I will remove this now with this said tool won't bother showing you that because that's boring okay I've removed the cover from the main board ECU whatever you want to call it it basically looks very similar to the other manufacturers that are available, um, Obasto, etc. Um, everything looks good, nice soldering, nothing scary. Appears to have a decent coating on there. Um, yeah, no, nothing, nothing ridiculous. I don't know if my camera will focus because it's a phone camera and not anything of any quality. Um, but yeah, that's all there. Uh, yep, nice rubber gasket inside inside the lid. Uh, for I don't think you can see that, so that should be in theory fairly watertight, um, and it's all coated anyway, so that should be good. You'd hope it'd be watertight being a water heater, just in case of any leaks or anything bizarre. So yeah, um, what I might do now is go and put this back together. Go and grab uh, a battery and some water and a bucket. I'm not sure if I've got a thermometer, uh, so we'll have to have a rummage for that. And power it up, plug it all in, um, grab all my clips, wiring loom, etc, etc. Fire it up uh, and see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure what the starter procedure is for it, I'm presuming it's the same, very similar to the other ones. Like I say, there is no instruction book that I can see unless I've dropped it somewhere. Which is very strange because Lavender are normally excellent at providing instructions. Um, especially with the air heaters. They're not the, the usual Chinglish, Chinese translated English ones. They are normally very good quality. Sorry, I'm just looking through the box for, a, uh, for an instruction book. But no, I can't see it. That's fine. We can live without one. Right, uh, let's go and find a battery. Okay, we return with... The heater, I have it all plumbed in, I have it connected to the said battery. It was quite low on power, it was only on 12.5 volts, so I've got a few battery chargers going on there just to bring it back up. It's been sitting on the shelf a while, so it needed a little charge. The uh, I've got my, the world's worst voltmeter, ammeter, multimeter there, so I can check on uh, how many amps the heater is pulling when it turns on. Uh, it's plumbed in, it's got the water inlet going into the pump, which sucks it up from said bucket, a uh, water outlet, which returns it to said bucket. I'm still trying to find a thermometer to test the water temperature as it rises. Uh, ignore that, that's just the hose pipe I used to fill it. So yeah, heater's there, uh, exhaust on, uh, fuel inlet on, which goes down to the fuel pump very riskily attached to the workmate which we use for welding and painting on and everything else it's had a very hard life the fuel pipe itself scoots off down that way for about 10 feet uh, i'm not 100 percent sure if it'll even suck up 10 feet worth of pipe generally you put the fuel pump towards the fuel tank not the heater end they do like to push rather than pull if that makes sense so yeah, so we have the air inlet uh, intake, should I say, with the air filter noise reducer -y thing, whatever you want to call it, sound dampener. Um, and the exhaust down there just very roughly clipped on with a plastic cable tie, which I'm expecting to melt, but just so it doesn't get me in the leg. And the controller itself. So I'm going to power it up. Uh, you actually need to connect one cable. And I'm going to power it up and see what the controller actually looks like. Okay, we've got the battery connected up. And here we have the controller. 
Uh, that's just went off. Oh no, just went to sleep. Okay, don't know why that won't focus. Please focus. There we go. So, this is presuming it wants the time set on it. Uh, skip that probably for now. And the day set on it, we can skip that also because it says Sunday and I wouldn't be here if it was a Sunday. And here we have the controller itself. You can probably possibly see some flickering on the screen. Uh, that doesn't happen in real life. That's probably something to do with my rubbish phone, refresh rate, whatever you want to call it. So you have, ooh, okay, sorry about the glare. You have the settings menu, yep, set the time, set the day, probably about it, yep, set the time, I'm presuming this is back, yep. You have program, timer program probably, program one, two, and three, you can probably program different, yep, so you can program different times, different days to turn on and off, and how long you want to run it for, I presume. Um, yeah, we don't need to do that for now, but that looks fairly straightforward. And I guess this is to turn on. 25 degrees says probably the air temperature in here. Yeah, not quite sure why that jumped there. My phone is horrific. So yeah, 25, it's just jumped up to 26 air degrees, say is the ambient air temperature, I would presume, in here. Uh, that's been on for two minutes. I think this is to turn it on for the first time. So let's go. Uh, oh, no, this is a run time. 30. Yep, yeah, we can choose how long we want it to stay on for. We'll just leave it at 30 minutes. See what happens. We're saying on. Oh, noises. Uh, so here we have the heater. The phone itself will pick up the noise of the heater far worse than what it is in real life. It'll appear louder. Phones like to do that. High-pitched, worry noises always sound louder on the phone than they do in real life. Uh, there is a bit of noise from the air intake. Other than that, it's actually not that loud. Wouldn't be an issue in a van anyway. It would probably be underneath or tucked somewhere fairly quiet. There is a bracket. I've just got this lying on its side here. Uh, there is a... Oh. My phone's horrific. Like I was saying, there is a bracket to mount it whatever way you want. It's across there. I don't know where it is actually. It's around. It bolts onto here and it gives you a, a, a thing. I'll show you that later. You can mount it wherever. This is the fuel in. Water out. Water in. Exhaust out. I've covered that already. So it's basically just running up itself for the first time. Controllers went to sleep. Oh, we get a little small flash just to say it is still alive and doing something. It's going to be on a minute. And if we look, it appears to be actually passing water through already. It'll be cold. The heater itself hasn't actually fired up yet as such. Um, I can hear the fuel pump clicking away. Uh, so that's doing a thing now. We'll be warm in a minute or two. I didn't actually prime the fuel pump very well. I kind of sucked it through myself to the pump from about 10 foot worth of hose, like I mentioned, uh, and it'll probably pass through there very soon. Might be a little bit smoky when it starts up for the first time. That's just uh, over prime, well, under primed or what have you. Uh, slight water leak down there. That was me getting excited with the hose pipe. So. What's happening here? Now I've been on for a minute and a half, two minutes, something like that. And it's wearing away. One thing I will note, just while waiting for this to heat up, uh, that's your remote to turn on and off. The connection for the controller, uh, that's the heater firing up properly there I think, first time. Excellent, no error codes, nothing bizarre happening. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, this connection is where you connect your controller to. It is also the same connection for the JSM module as well, which is over here somewhere. Sorry about that. Yeah, so it's, it's the same plug. So what it would appear is you can either have this connected or you can have this connected but not both at the same time. Maybe you can piggyback them, put a Y splitter on. Uh, maybe there is a way and I just haven't seen it. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when I come to it very soon. Got a few SIM cards for, the, for, for this. Uh, that's your antenna. 
Uh, it looks good, good little piece of kit, to be honest. Interested to see if that works with a UK SIM card. So the heater is now fired up and is running absolute full blast for a, probably the first few minutes just to get up to temperature. Mm, oh, wow. Yep, that water jacket part is noticeably warm. That's quite amazing. Um, right, let's have a feel. Mm, marginally warmer than hose pipe temperature, but give it a few moments, it will be awesome. So yeah, very surprised it's uh, started up first time without any issues. No error codes, no need to prime extra, not even any excessive smoke. Um, I'm not very posh or well equipped, I don't have a CO meter, uh, anything like that. Uh, but yeah, what I might do is just pause this for now, Let's see how long we've been running for. Uh, we set it for half an hour and it's now on 26 minutes. We're running for about four minutes. Uh, I might pause this here or just come back to it in a few minutes and let you know how hot this water is getting. I am now going to very quickly run off and try and find a thermometer, but I think I haven't got one. A few moments later. Okay, it's basically 10 minutes now since I pressed the power button on that heater, fired up, haven't turned it off. I've been looking for a thermometer everywhere, I can't find one, I do have one somewhere, it's a digital one, I know I have, but, excuse the mess, this, I don't know if you can see that, we're actually getting steam already after about 10 minutes. Uh, I think it's a 10 litre bucket? 10 litre bucket, uh, and it's it's already hot, literally. Yep, that's probably about, I don't know, 60, 50, 50 or 55, 60 degrees Celsius, something like that, maybe more. So what I'm going to do is let that run for a few more minutes. That's definitely working, it's quite amazing. And uh, yeah, very impressed with it so far. Not obnoxiously loud, there is quite a bit of noise coming from the air intake down here, that's probably what you can hear on the, on, on the camera. Um, some slight noise from the fan itself inside the heater, but nothing, nothing crazy, very similar to a, a, a diesel heater, possibly slightly louder, but you, you don't run it for long anyway, you wouldn't run it for hours on end, there's no need. That's, uh, that's, that's really steaming now, that's, yeah, that's, that works, that's good, how, what we, 18 minutes, uh, so yeah, that's, that's it up and running, I'm sure you can possibly turn it down maybe, have, have it slightly less hot, I mean, probably if I had an instruction manual, I could probably have a mess around. Um, never having used one of these Lavina Controller Pros before, uh, I'm not 100% sure how they work. But that's awesome, Lavina will 100% be sending out a book, instruction manual or whatever, when you buy them. Probably just forgot, it's a kind of a pre-production model, they are finished, they are here, it's there, it's done, it's working. They're probably shipping them out very soon, we'll have some in stock, I'll certainly be fitting them. This one will probably be going on long test in my own van or in a sprinter van that we're building um, or one of the other vehicles we'll have around. So yeah, really good. And I'm interested to see, let's do a shutdown procedure. So I'm gonna press the off button on the remote. Nope, that just come up off there, yep. So that, that's just, just displayed off on the screen. And the heat on itself is now slowing down. Awesome. Yep, that is really, really steaming. You po po don't know if you can see that, possibly not see that on the screen. That's awesome. Um, yep, that's really hot. That's too hot for my hand to hold in more than a second or two. Yep, uh, that's 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 hot. Um, really good flow. Quite a large pipe. I didn't use the pipe that came with the heater. This is just pipe I had lying around from well, from the Wabasto one you saw earlier, actually, to be honest. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the, the, the pipe that came with the heater is actually really nice quality. Uh, oh, good job I had that there. That's, that's escaping now. 
That's interesting. Let's see how quick it empties this bucket of 10 litres. Is this 10 litres? Will it overflow? Probably. So yeah, that's, that's going really well. That's a good flow rate. Can't complain at that. Now, pop this back in here anyway, before it just runs dry. Do you want to run the heater too dry? Although, it would probably be okay, to be honest. So, that's that's that. Yeah, awesome. So, yeah, as I was saying, the, 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 the pipe that comes with the heater is quite a nice pipe. Uh, it's got a good bend on it, so you can pass it from here and around and up and over, wherever you want. So that's like a, a formed bend. Uh, there's probably a size on it because you may need more. So this might be even few. We have 19 by three and a half. A 19 mil pipe. Uh, and there's a good oh, two meters of that or so, at least. Uh, probably about two meters. So yeah, that's that, that's cool. Uh, I did find a thermometer, but the end of the cable has snapped off. So that's no good. That won't work. Um, so yeah, the feet is just shutting down now, doing its thing. Fuel pump is turned off. Guess it's just running the fan, cooling it. Yeah, cooling itself down. Still cycling the water through. Probably so it doesn't overheat. Um, brilliant, brilliant piece of kit. Turned on first time. Uh, no issues with fuel supply, even though it's on a, a ten meter long pipe, uh, ten feet long pipe even. So yeah, happy with that. I'm going to probably go and have a play with a JSM relay now, I think, and see, see how that does. Let's go and find some SIM cards. The SIM card JSM module up, but I've just opened it up and realised, as he does this one-handed, it's actually a full-sized, well, not full full size, but a, a proper-sized SIM card, and I don't have any. All of mine are the small nano SIM cards now. Uh, so I'll have to find another SIM card, so this will be a job for another day. But there's power, LED flashing in there. Don't know if you can see it, this little LED flashes now and then. There's a so it's kind of a reset button, I'm presuming it's to tell it it's got a new SIM card in or if it's changed settings or what have you. You have your antenna with a good, good bit of decent quality cable on it, to be honest. So that's cool. Yeah, but... The, this connects to the same position whoops, as this one, which is the, the LCD controller. So I'm not sure if you can have both or just the one. And there is this very nice kind of ribbon connectory type button, which um, I'm presuming is an on-off button. I, I guess if you send the heater a message to turn on this, in fact, can, can I hold this and turn it on? No. I don't know what this does. Let's have a. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. So this this can also be used as a power button. That's cool. Um, I wonder how long that runs for. Probably thirty minutes, I guess. I don't know. There's no timer function on it, so I'm not too sure how that would work. But yeah, if you hold hold this button in for a few seconds, it turns it on. Shall we try and turn it off? I don't know if it'll turn off because I've just turned it on. No. Have to go through a startup cycle, shutdown, etc. But yeah, so you can turn it on with this or send a text message, turn it on and off with this. The other thing is, I don't actually have the instructions for this. Normally, there's a, a button presses and text messages you have to send to, to configure it, um, but I don't have that. So I will get that tonight from Levener um, and I will be back with another short video or maybe tag it on to the end of this video for this but yes very impressed with the heater very impressed with the stuff it comes with which is not this pipe you get lots of stuff you get the fuel pump mounting bracket which I didn't use because it's on a workbench uh, plenty of hose connectors get all sorts the wiring loom is massive huge lots of many meters uh, few pipe connectors elbows clips the lovely springy clips that we all love and hate Dip tube for your fuel tank. I guess if you've got a diesel air heater, you could probably split that off and, and, and take piece and run both. Decent quality fuel uh, filter, which I know I got excited about before, but I didn't actually use it. 
I do actually have a, a fuel filter on my fuel tank already, so that's pointless having two. And again, this, which probably would have quietened things down on the video, you want to melt that bag on the heater because it's just starting up. Um, yeah, this would have quietened things down as well. Didn't put that in simply because test purposes. Uh, and you've got all sorts of other things as well. This I've got on, on the bench over here, if you give me a second. Uh, you've got bags of nuts, bolts. I'm sure I've covered this before. Things to cover all the all variations of installation. Um, and the heater mountain brackets, which I... So yeah, so this would kind of clamp on this way, probably. Yeah. And then you would just mount that to the underneath of your van anywhere really where, wherever it's going to live so uh yeah really good heater i forgot to say as well i did in the excitement of the heater turning on as it was powering up i've disconnected it now it was pulling about 12 amps 13 amps uh as it turned on and then once it was up to temperature and running it was virtually nothing it was you know a few amps if that so yeah really good didn't expect anything else from lavana um i knew it would be good quality Let's see if we can turn it off with this. Uh, hmm. So uh, yeah, sorry, I'll just just I digress. Oh, I've done. I've made a light. Come on, this will be covered in another video. Not 100 percent sure on this. Yes, it's shutting down. Um, so yeah, didn't expect anything else from Eleven. I hate that to be honest. I knew it would work first time. I knew it would come with all the kit. It doesn't have an instruction manual that's because it's been sent to me although I've had it for months and I haven't even opened it I should have done that's been sent to me in a hurry um, I was meant to test this months ago and didn't again my apologies it's here now and that is happily yeah that, that's that's really hot that's ah, yes that's too hot to even have a shower in that's really good uh, you'll need to mix that with cold water if you're using it in a camper van or what have you, or hot hot water storage tank, and then again mix a tap. Various ways of doing it, but we'll not go into that. Uh, that's a job for another video, possibly. This is the first video, could possibly be the last, apart from covering this. Um, I'm not a video maker. I appreciate the camera work's been shaky, the background's been unswept and, and messy. I've probably been going lots of ums, ahs and erm, I'm sorry about that, again it's not something I do make videos, it's like talking to an answering machine, it's horrible. So yes, all in all, great success, thank you to Levener, thank you to Craig for sending it and again apologies for not getting this done sooner. If there's any questions, send us at Levener, um, Van Life Camper Vans or Levener, Craig at Levener. Um, a message and I'm sure we'll get back to you so yes we'll have obviously this in stock now there will be more coming we also have I'll this some here we also have Lavender Pro heaters not just those two we have piles of them and yeah yeah really good so thank you for watching thank you for putting up with me thank you for putting up with the camera work and the lack of information really I didn't even tell you anything about it as such couldn't tell you how hot the water was but it's hot, trust me. No issues with the quality of it. Really good. As good as, if not possibly better than the Webastos that we've been fitting for a long time now. So, uh, yeah, thank you again. And possibly might see you in another video. Probably not. Cheers, bye.